Hello everyone. In the previous video, I explained that you can use TTMS FNC Cloud Base to communicate with the REST API. And I also mentioned that there was a more complex version available in TMS FNC Cloud Pack if you want to use authentication with an external browser. For this, you can use TTMS FNC Cloud or OUT. Today, I will show you an example that uses the service Slack. Slack is a channel-based messaging platform and it's actually already available in the TMS FNC Cloud Pack if you are interested. But it's a great example as this service follows the OAuth 2.0 flow. Now let's create our own Slack class that inherits from TTMS FNC Cloud OAuth. As every API has its own way of implementing the authentication, you will need to override some methods. When you try to connect, the component will first check if the access token that it has is still valid. This can be any function of the API that you want, but some services like Slack have their own request for this. This is done in the test tokens procedure. Then we handle the response in the function get test tokens result. Here we return true in case the access token is still valid or false if not. In this case with Slack we check if there is an error and in the result string we can see that it, there is because it's not authenticated. If that is the case then we'll start with the authentication process. First, we'll need the authentication URL and we'll retrieve this with the function getAuthentication_URL. This URL is specific to each API and you'll need to check the documentation for this, but it usually takes the client ID and secret or API key. And it might also need the callback URL or the scopes. Scopes define the level of access that your application has. In this case, we give it the access to read our channels. For security reasons, the client ID and secret, which you can retrieve from the Slack API page, will not be available anymore, so we will need to create a new Slack project for this if you want to test it. After we retrieve the authentication URL, a browser will show where we need to authenticate our project. If that is the case, we'll get an authentication, authentication token, which you can see here, and now we will convert this to an access token. This is done also with a specific call from the API. So we then add the authentication token to our request. And in the function get access tokens, get access token, sorry, uh, we'll then retrieve our access token. In the case of Slack, this is in a JSON object authenticated user. But as you can see here, we have our authenticated user and the access token available. So this will return this. And now to make sure that everything is correct, we'll do the test tokens again. And now you can see that the access token is filled in. So now we won't have any error in our response and our connection is complete. From there on, you can start working with the other API requests. If you want to apply this to your own REST service that uses the OAuth 2.0 flow, you can use this as a base, but keep in mind that each service specifies their own requirements before granting access to your application. So you'll need to check the documentation to do this. Thank you for joining us. Till the next Health 101. Bye.